here with some friendly advice. With AXA, you know your car insurance is in good hands. For the right cover at the right price, call AXA on 1892-82820 or visit your local branch. Terms and conditions apply. AXA Insurance Limited is regulated by the financial regulator. The Tuberty Show on RTE Radio 1 in association with Benacol. No one does morning radio quite like Tuberty. No one lowers cholesterol quite like Benacol. It's 25 past nine, and sitting across from me now are two women who uh, could be called Maria or Nancy, uh, depending who you're talking about. They've caught the eye of the king of the musicals, Mr. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Of course, not Mr., he's Lord or Jerry God or whatever they call him. And they first came to his attention in BBC, BBC shows like uh, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria and I'd Do Anything, and they'll be performing in a special 60th celebration uh, with the band's birthday himself. So, uh, you from Holland and Jesse Buckley, welcome to the programme. Thank you very Thank much, you. Ryan. It's quite a bloody time I met you, Buckley. Is it long enough I know. talking on the phone? <laughs> well, well, congratulations on all your successes, of course, uh, in recent times. Jesse, I'll, I'll start with you because you're the last person I spoke to in, in, in that sense. Uh, you have been, well, you did very well. You came, what, second? Second, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That was a pain oh. in the ass, wasn't it? About that. <laughs> no, I remember watching it on the night that, you know, and you were, you, you were obviously, you know, not particularly happy, but sometimes it can be as, as, as well not to win things in a weird way. Um, I think actually definitely for me, I think it is the best thing for me in the long run because I am, I suppose, 18 and I want a lifelong career and hopefully by not winning, it's going to give me some more options and, you know, I'm you, getting... I'm getting a chance to do, you know, things that I thought I wouldn't do. Like I did a Shakespeare course for four weeks, which I loved and putting me up for like some films and, you know, TV stuff, which is, it's just such an experience and it's allowing me to grow as well. So, so you did what, the RADA, the, the, this, or the RSC or which one did you do? Uh, I did a four week course in RADA studying Shakespeare. And is there a lot of I do all oh, you're so all to be or not to be yes, stuff. <laughs> but, um, did you have to do a lot of kind of English accents, clipped English accents? Actually, you know what? They wanted us to do it in our own accents, which was nice because you love that. Wouldn't you love Hamlet <laughs> yeah. done by Cork? And a nice Kerry accent, <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> K- Kerry. Kerry does Lear. <laughs> Romeo, you know. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> 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 that Romeo. <laughs> I'd love that. And then you could, you know, you could do a Galway version of Macbeth, which would be great. And uh, so, so you, the, the acting thing, have you done auditions for movies and TV and everything? So? Yeah, I have done a few things, which is, it's such an experience. And it's kind of another thing that you, you know, just another thing that'll help you grow as well. So what do you want? What would you love to be in? Like um, a film or a TV show? Any, like I want to keep my options open. And at the moment, I'm just, you know, testing, testing the water and seeing what's the best thing for me to go in yeah. now. Um, I'm, I'm quite adamant though to go into the right thing right now and not make not to go into something really big you know really you know I, I'd love maybe a small fringe theatre thing or you know, kind of off West End so you want to Prestina Lente make haste slowly yes do it in your own time is that it <laughs> yeah okay that's the plan. Um, it makes a lot of sense I, I, I was struck talking to you on the um, phone and whatever and when you were going through the process that you had possibly one of the wisest heads on po- one of the younger shoulders I'd ever spoken <laughs> And I'm just curious, where did that come about? Is it that your parents are very practical? Is it that you were brought up by in a good school, or you just? <laughs> um, well, How'd my, my parents are definitely not practical. I'm no? known as Messy Jesse around my own house. Yeah, but I think that's probably all just uh, <laughs> you know the veneer. But um, deep, intellectually, you just seem like I think a smart. Girl. Being the eldest of five kind of has a lot to do with it. We oh, kind of have see. a lot of responsibilities growing up. So, um, that's what happened. You're the oldest of five, so that's you, you're it. kind of you were the first to. You have to kind of clean that and do that exactly. and get the socks and all that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the top. <laughs> Eve Mulhall, what a pleasure yes. to see you again. Oh, How many years is it since you came through the? Um, um, it's Maria? been um, two two years, I think. Yeah, yeah. two, just over two. Okay, and yeah. you came, did you come second in that as well? No, I didn't. Or? I only came fourth. Only fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not quite a medal, yeah. but in the zone. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but nevertheless, you were, you, were, you were well got and liked uh, on the show by judges, and particularly by Andrew Lloyd Webber, who seems to have a thing for both of you. I mean, I mean that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> but he does seem to be fond of you both, uh, for, yeah. whatever, for whatever reason. Uh, yeah. You went on to, to do uh, Chicago, didn't you, Roxy? Yes, and, that's right. And then what? What have you been doing since then? So did Chicago, and then um, went into the Sound of Music actually was called into audition for that for the alternate role. So um, I went in and auditioned for that and got that and I did that twice a week for the last year and a half. So just finished that a couple of weeks ago. And just does the 
Anytime you hear a song from Sound of Music now, does that send shivers down your spine? Do you want to, like, wring the neck of a Von Trapp as soon as you hear it? <laughs> I don't, actually. Funnily enough, I've never felt that way about it. I absolutely love the music from that show. and Day in, day out. Day, yeah, but I've only done it twice a week, so it's still quite fresh for me. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, I, I love it. Rodgers and Hammerstein, I just absolutely love their music. So Aren't they amazing that the, the, the music... I go, I, I go over once a year with a little person, and we, we went to Mary Poppins one year, and this year to Phantom of the Opera. And the way mm. the West End does a musical, it, it takes you to another world for a couple of hours. It does. Though. They just seem to have... complete this. escapism. You know, once you walk into that theatre, you, as you said, you're just transported to another mm. world. It's just amazing. Yeah. The only thing is, all the male leads all sound like Tony Blair singing. <laughs> I gave you my music, you know. And they all have that sort of slightly clip. Do you know what I mean, Jesse? Yeah. But I I think though, because having not experienced yet, yeah. <laughs> um, for me, even going to see a play, I'm at the edge of my seat still. I'm like, mm. oh. But you know what would be nice now with you two, with your gorgeous accents, is that you could you kind of give, sometimes all the, the female leads in the West End, they all sound a bit like Rukas Holt or something. You know? <laughs> Daddy, I want a lead role and I want it now. <laughs> You know, they just sound slightly unreal. So be nice. Do you, do you, are you, yeah, are with you, the wide eyes. The wide eyes. Is it true? <laughs> Me? Really? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Okay. What? So Andrew Lloyd Webber, meanwhile, has is, is hitting 60 this year. And he's spending, essentially, the, the British seem to be giving him 365 birthdays, one for every day. <laughs> Which he kind of probably deserves. He's so good. So what, are, what are you, were you in his house last week? Um, well, or his castle, sorry. No, I wasn't in his castle or mansion or house or whatever you want to call it. Last week. We did an interview with him about two weeks ago in his house. What do you mean you did an interview with him? Well, the um, the Irish Independent were there and we just did an interview, the, the three of us, and he was chatting away and talking about us in front of us, which is quite weird, actually. Yeah. Did, he, did he explain why he, he likes you guys so much? He did. You, do you know what? Two throne horn, you're allowed, because I'm asking you the question. He did. He well. He said you were extraordinary and you'd amazing talent, raw talent, and you need experience. I think. God, was he drunk? No, he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my cue to leave. Actually. <laughs>